Mission Discovery is an amazing program that allows students to be exposed to astronauts, NASA personnel, scientists. We focus on skills that these students will need throughout their lives. The students who come here benefit hugely from the experience. They mix with uh, other young people from all over the world and while doing so they learn a great deal about a wider world of perspective away from their own smaller communities. And not only that, they are working in a top university environment and rubbing shoulders with people who are some of the highest achieving individuals on Earth. It's amazing. I mean, the chance to get your experiment to go to space is just sort of unfathomable to believe, you know. The inspiration uh, that they're going to get by being involved in a project which develops an experiment with an astronaut, somebody who's been into space, together with a team around that from NASA and ISET, is just too good to pass up. Day one, the focus is teamwork. The students come, they don't know each other, they're nervous, so we break them up into teams of six. We give them team activities, team challenges that will help them gel as a team. To other people, I would say don't be nervous about meeting new people. I'm not particularly a sciencey person in a lot of ways. There's a lot of people you wouldn't normally talk to that are into different things than you, but you all kind of form bonds and you all start to connect and you all have one shared image in the end of it. Day two, that's when we're gonna start talking about that experiment that they're going to be designing. At the same time, on that day, they will also be talking to the astronauts. So as they get that design brief, they will start working as a team and start brainstorming. What experiment do they want to conduct that's going to be beneficial to future space flight, to mankind, to the Earth? A great opportunity to learn how to work in a team and how to present to a larger audience. And uh, in many ways, I wish I'd had that opportunity when I was younger. I've always believed that the best ideas are coming from the students. Day three, there's a stronger focus on the experiment work itself. They will still be working with the astronauts, the NASA personnel, the lead scientists, but the focus is on whittling down those ideas so that they have a experiment. Well, what we're very keen to do is try and inspire children to become interested in science. And this is a fantastic way of inspiring children. We hope they're going to come to King's to study, to be interested in science. In the medium of space, the programme in its entirety and the way it brings team building, leadership, um, inspiring ideas together is a fantastic platform. The experience has been the best that I think anyone could ever offer. You can't get this anywhere else. Even the top scientists in the world can't send their payloads to outer space. But we're doing it here and we're 14, 15 year olds. It's amazing. Day four, they will be given tips on giving presentations. They will also be wrapping up the research and they will be prepared to deliver that information to the judges on day five. Over the course of one week, these students get to become the world experts in their area of research that could be carried out in space, which is a fantastic achievement for them. Sometimes their, their friends and neighbors at school are, are not the ones that are interested in, in STEM. And meeting other kids who are, it's like so reassuring and, and such a confidence builder. Like not only have I learned science, but I've also learned there's so many other women and girls that want to get into science, which makes me feel happy. I've learned so much more about science than I probably would in a science classroom. Day five, the students are hyped. They're ready to communicate to the judges their design experiment. There will be two rounds of judging. Five finalists will be selected. And from those five finalists, the judges will select a winning experiment. That winning experiment will be launched to the International Space Station for the astronauts to conduct. How incredible is that? The winner of Mission Discovery at Teens College is Team Five! I don't think any of us thought we would actually win. I mean, we believed in our idea, of course, but there were so many amazing other groups. I'm sure we've never thought of ourselves as astronauts or people worthy of having an experiment carried out in space. So I think this experience has really taught us that you can do anything um, and with such brilliant people working alongside you, I, I think it's so worth it to come onto this course because now we have this amazing experience and it's going to be something we carry through with us for the rest of our lives.
I learned that anyone can do anything with anyone with the right mindset. You are the future generation of science. and We see some great discoveries coming out of this room in the future. Well done, everybody. You're fantastic. Talent in itself is often overrated. This notion of what was said, you can do it if you've got the right mindset, I believe is true. Get over this fear of failure. Be asked to do something hard. Don't shy away. Work together as a team and accomplish something. The International Space School Education Trust has the goal of utilizing space and the human space program to inspire young people to make something of themselves. Generally speak it, to inculcate what I could, would call the NASA you can do it spirit. Having the mentors there and having uh, advisors going around working with the tables to ensure that the, the quietest voice will get heard. At the start of this week, I definitely wouldn't be standing up right here. And <laughs> Thanks to the amazing people here, they've given me a voice so I can speak to all you guys. I'm really thankful for that. The confidence of doing something really difficult as part of a team is an experience they can carry with them for the rest of their life, no matter what they end up doing.